Subscribe to Stem Gaming for your chance to win this Noise Marine figure. Hi guys, uh, welcome to Stem Gaming. I'm going to be doing a quick, just a quick tiny tutorial on how to paint a purple warp sword or power sword or whatever one you wanted to use as a purple weapon. Um, as you can see, I'm using Zerius Purple as a base coat. Just going to be airbrushing that all over the actual uh, sword to begin with. Make sure that if you are have got a sword, which in this case is attached to the figure, that you are masking properly. Okay, I've got a, uh, a masking video if you want to go into our painting help just to give you some hints and tips on how to do that. Next I'm mission, um, mixing sorry, Zarius Purple with Gene Stealer Purple and then I'm just going to not hit the bottom of the sword of course, I'm just going to hit further up and we're just going to have nice blends and transitions going up the sword. Um, it's pretty easy, it's not, it's not the most difficult task in the world trying to get a blended sword going because it is quite a smooth flat panel. Now, of course, just applying straight Jean Steeler Purple, uh, giving you airbrush a bit of a clean before doing this. And just, again, leaving out some uh, finer details on the recesses, just going further and further up the sword. Continuing with the blend, Gin Stealer Purple and Skull White have now been put in my airbrush. Make sure that when you're doing uh, whites that you've got your, your consistency correct. I know a lot of people say skim milk. If you want to know, a bit of a tip, if you want to know what skim milk looks like, put a little bit of skim milk in your airbrush. Sounds daft. Get your brush, dip it into the milk and then run it across the edge of your cup and see how it runs back into your cup. That's what you're looking for when you're actually mixing your paint. Because some paints can be thicker, some paints can be thinner, and therefore you don't get the same consistency. Now the sword's dry, we're going to hit it with a long beard grey dry paint. 
Um, I always use a kitchen roll when uh, doing my dry brushing. I've done a video, or I should be doing a video quite soon, on basic dry brushing techniques for those that need a little help with it. Uh, so watch out for that if I've not already uploaded it, because I do record these in a bit of a haphazard format. I'm just basically trying to caress the edges with the grey, uh, just to try and pick out the, uh, the details on the sword. I'm now going to shade the entire sword with Drachi Eye Violet. Uh, this is a shade paint, just using my shade brush. And then when that's dry, it's a pretty simple, basic. It should also, it should hopefully blend everything together. And then normally I just give it a hit. If you're wanting it quite shiny, give it a hit of um, some gloss varnish afterwards. I tend to use hard coat. It works well with uh, Games Workshop's paints. That's it. Sorry for the poorish picture quality of the finished article there. Um, but that's just basically painting a purple sword. Uh, just make sure that you're doing your layers up with your airbrush. Hit it with a wash later after giving it a good dry brush. And then you end up with just a very quick tabletop ready weapon. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you're liking the painting videos and battle reports, there's more on my website. That's rootstem.co.uk. And you can get exclusive early access to pretty much anything I put on YouTube or anything I put on any media anywhere for £3 a month. Uh, that's sometimes up to four weeks before it appears on any other platform. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button for more. We'll see you next time.